people, people, people. Que pasa, suck, pasa, what they do. Now, people, the first part of the video is what we call she a play hard forget can be misunderstood it can be misrepresented you can basically have a bad judgment and we're also yes can mean no and no means no all the time no never means yes and i am speaking about an incident as it pertains to a national junior shot putter and we are speaking about a person whose name is kevin nedrick and he is a graduate from petersfield we are speaking about one of those country schools of people he was a standout at the championship we are speaking at boys and girls championship and he got a scholarship to a place called barton college and he was transferred a couple of years ago to the university of minnesota which is basically a top tier school in america and people based on the information based on the court record it is said that he was charged with third degree criminal x e x u a l conduct in the minnesota we are speaking about minnesota the state of minnesota i am speaking about united states now people basically went to court on tuesday and it was delayed or it was postponed until the 28th of october 2020 now people based on the court record and based on the popo report it is said that on the night of august 25th on the campus it is said that a girl was having her 21st birthday we are speaking about a friend of the lady that he allegedly a s s a u l t e d and he went to the party and he tried to overpower the girl so people basically him try for all her down and take it and people that is according to the court record now people when we think about stuff like this we have to ask ourselves the question and we see where it comes into a culture difference in culture culture shock because people the truth and the fact that and i am not saying that it is justified when it comes to jamaica the men them especially the school youth them the older school youth them have a thing where say she have play hard forget that means that you don't want to let off on people like we say that type of thinking it is kind of backwards especially when you talk about america because people like me say yes can mean no but no means no all the time just have that policy in your head and you will never go wrong so anyway people when we think about the fact that this man is a shot putter so we are talking about a big thick youth we are talking about a black youth and more than likely when you hear about minnesota and people don't get it twisted don't get it misconstrued i am not saying that black people don't live in a minnesota however it is mostly known as a white place we are talking about them pale so anyways people the point that i am trying to make is that whenever he goes into court we are speaking about a black jamaican man we are talking about a thick jamaican man and he is going up against a complainant i am speaking about a girl if she is white and i am just assuming that she is white people i don't know the race of this person may just uh, speculate so the point that i am trying to make is that what is going to happen when he goes to court and the jury or the judge look at him as a thick black man and then them see a little white girl will look like a little innocent girl will look like mary popping people you know that it is going to be problematic point blank and period now people like me say this is my disclaimer once again one more again i don't know if the girl is white i am just saying that if she is white it basically make it look more sticky upon him case because people you understand the truth and the fact that america kind of we are talking about them like them white people and them don't really like the black people especially when they have a president we are talking about the orange monster we are talking about mr chumster so people the point that i am trying to make is that people i don't know the situation i don't know if he went to that party and the girl was drunk or he was basically kind of tipsy i don't know who had the bad judgment i don't know if he thought that because she was basically kind of tipsy he could have taken advantage of her and i don't know if the fact that she might have been a little tipsy she thought that he took advantage of her however people when somebody make that type of allegations against you whether you are innocent or not people it does not look good on people you understand america how it runs you understand when we are speaking about a white place such as minnesota and you understand how the jury feel if the prosecutor say as so that is what they are going to think because the truth and the fact that you as a little jamaican country boy going to court you are not going to face any sort of jury of your peers 
you are going to face the type of person that believe in the chumster so people it is going to be problematic may i talk about dog might eat him supper and people what might even compound this problem is the fact that he is represented by a public attorney a public defendant now people just imagine a public defendant versus we are speaking about the prosecution office we are talking about the da office we are speaking about competent lawyers and people i am not saying that no public attorney can be competent may just as say it is not a fair fight so people when we take into consideration that the girl might be white and he is big black and thick and he is from jamaica and she is from minnesota people may just as say it is not a very good look it's chance or it's possibility and people like me say it depends on the evidence more than anything else because it's truth and the fact that if the evidence is overwhelming that he is innocent more than likely he is going to beat the case if the case is basically overwhelming that she is telling the truth it is going to be problematic if it is a 50 50 chance that she might be telling the truth it might also be problematic because people like me say you have to understand that america is a place that don't like black people point blank and period and people you see the history of black people lately as it pertains to purple as it pertains to the system it is not a fair fight point blank and period so anyways people the truth and the fact that he is getting representation from team bickle jamaica and if you don't know what that is we are speaking about an organization that represents and basically support athletes from jamaica and the caribbean so therefore they are giving support but people like me say he has a public defendant right now so therefore based on what team bickle we are speaking about the ceo and the person's name is clear he is saying that the fact that the case has been postponed until october 28 it gives them more time to find proper representation and people i hope that they can put together a strong case for this youth if he is indeed innocent and i hope that they can get a proper lawyer and people like me say i am not trying to diss a lawyer and saying that he is pia pia me just as say when me hear about public defendant me not really feel too confident point blank and period now people based on the court record and based on the fact that the judge in the case said that he will remain on bail people i think that he is out so people that is always a good look because it is better to fight your case while you are outside however people the message and the moral in all of this is that jamaicans we are speaking about whether you are an athlete whether you are an athlete that is going to america and getting any sort of scholarship america canada uk rate whatever the case is be very careful because it is a difference in culture and when people say no especially woman especially when you want them to let off the pumps and them say no you have to take it as a no so therefore don't think that no sounds like yes and don't think that yes sounds like maybe or whatever the case is make sure say establish if the pums are gonna run or not or else you are going to be in problem point blank and period so people this is my advice once again one more again whenever you get any sort of opportunity i am speaking about the young youths in jamaica whether it be some sort of academic or some sort of sports we are speaking about scholarship make sure that you keep your eyes on the prize don't get distracted don't make because of some foolishness don't make because of you are speaking about your genes don't make because of some pumps or don't make your second head basically overrule your first head may i talk about your top head may just as i said make sure that you are thinking constructive because people the truth and the fact that sometimes at PUMS it can lead you astray and sometimes the DICKY DICKY it can also lead you astray so therefore you have to just basically monitor yourself and make sure say do whatever is right and think straight because people like me say whenever you're getting any sort of problems like that in an uncle sam country especially when you jump over people fence people they are going to treat it as if you're basically slap with somebody and even though based on the court record it is said that it is a third degree criminal s-e-x-u-a-l conduct people it is still going to be problematic we are speaking about the ripple effect we are speaking about the domino effect because people the truth and the fact that more than likely if he is convicted he is going to get a whole lot of years he is going to get deported he is going to lose his scholarship 
So people, the essence of the story is that don't be penny wise and pound foolish. Don't make the cause of the poems. You basically lose everything, all the opportunities that are ahead of you, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.